Right, I want to show you guys a full kill real quick, because I doubt I'll end up showing it on stream. Not gonna talk too much, uh, just speed it up slightly so you can see what's happening, but... This thing is bonkers, this, this blessing is just on a whole different level. Every expectations I had of it... Yeah, I was wrong. It's so much better than anything I could have dreamt of. And I want to show you guys exactly what... Really? Dead clicks, bro. Dead click city. There, the first hit is 158 with the terror step, and that wasn't a volatile trigger. That's just a normal 158. Fucking insane. 161. 167. I'm gonna just let myself die real quick for full HP. And I ended up getting a uh, brand new PB on stream, which I doubt I'll end up cutting from the highlights because I don't think it's worth showing the full kill or anything. But. That is like almost a minute faster than the majority of average times I've had up until now. It's just so good. Look at this. I'm, it's on like half soaking, right? You can only deal half damage on this second phase. Yet I still managed to hit so incredibly fast that it's almost dead already. And luckily enough, I'm getting some really piss poor hits here at the end. That's just a little bit of RNG. A zero. One more, please. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's some unfortunate timing, but up until now I was hitting really fucking good. There we go. What's the time on that? Uh, 1 minute 34. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Definitely faster than the majority of times I was getting before, for sure. It's pretty bonkers. If I get a really fast kill, I'll show you real quick. And I ended up getting a uh, brand new PB on stream, which I doubt I'll end up cutting from the highlights, because I don't think it's worth showing the full kill or anything. But... That is like almost a minute faster than the majority of average times I've had up until now. It's just so good. Look at this. I'm, it's on like half soaking, right? You can only deal half damage on this second phase. Yet I still managed to hit so incredibly fast that it's almost dead already. And luckily enough, I'm getting some really piss poor hits here at the end. That's just a little bit of RNG. A zero. One more, please. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's some unfortunate timing, but up until now I was hitting really fucking good. There we go. What's the time on that? Uh, 1 minute 34. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Definitely faster than the majority of times I was getting before, for sure. It's pretty bonkers. If I get a really fast kill, I'll show you real quick. Right now I'm literally getting 121 kills without the Infernal Elixir. What the fuck? It's crazy. Alright then, quite some time later and then another Infernal Elixir used, we're now at 198 shards. Haven't had any more 25 drops, but we're now 2 shards off finishing this bad boy. I can't believe we have 4 alloys, man. 2 more and we can start drop trading any more we get after that at least. 471 KC at the moment, we've been grinding. The kills are really smooth, even off Infernal I can get really fast kills here, it's very surprising to me. But I still prefer using Infernals. I actually did have a PB, but I was actually in the middle of a call, so I didn't end up recording it. But I think it was like 58 seconds or something. Which is just mind-blowingly fast for the fact that I'm using magic here. This is this ornament, or whatever the fuck, this blessing, man. It's so fucking sick. So glad I rushed this thing, because this is gonna help in just like just about everything. I would really like to do some raids soon, so I could see like the new scythe hits and all of that. Curious to see how that goes, but in due time. Oh, we got a doubled Terra Metal Shard just now. Fuck yes. Let's go make this bad boy. I cannot wait. Oh, yes, 100 shards. We just done did it. Let's grab the other Terra Metal Core and then use the shards on this one. Other way around, apparently. And then use these on the Karazi Battle Axe and boom! You attach the course to the battle axe to create the Chasm Quaker battle axe. Fuck yeah, oh my god. <laughs> what the hell, that thing is massive, bro. Holy crap. Let's get the uh, max strength out and do some uh, maxing with this thing. Holy shit, this is huge. All right, let's test this bad boy out. We're gonna use an Infernal Elixir as well because I want the real max hit. What can it hit and how fast is it? Damn, 101? That's not even bad. Whip speed as well. Look at that. Boom. 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 Huh. Pretty appealing. Now, the real question is, what can we max with the new blessing on top of it? 
Ooh, 111. Not too shabby. Um, but the X in and of itself isn't like super, super crazy. 150 in the most stats. Uh, crush and Slash. And it has 150 strength bonus. Definitely not bad by any means. But its special attack it <laughs> increases damage by 250% in a 5x5 five five area. What can we spec without the blessing? Let's check that first. That doesn't feel like 250% damage to me. I didn't expect it to be capped? Maybe it doesn't show on the dummy? It shows a max hit of 80. That can't be right. Alright, I feel like we have a decent amount of enemies here. Let's just see what we can hit on those. Oh! Yeah, that looks like a lot of damage if it says 1341. The fuck? Basically wiped all of them. Let's try that again. Boop, 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 boop. Come over here, boys. No, you too. Come here. Good boy. See? Interesting. Very, very interesting. One survived somehow. Huh. What if I just... Uh, I need like an NPC to spec where it's not in multi to see if it can hit above 80. I'm guessing it can if I hit a 1317. Let's, let's try teleporting to Dagonuff Kings. See what I can hit on Supreme. Just as a small little test. Oh yeah, it totally can spec above the 80 that it showed on the dummy. That's good. 220. Oh yeah, I think it tries to hit the prime. Maybe this is not ideal. Right, let, let's try the thermonuclear smoke devil. That should work. Let's see what we can spec on this bad boy. Pew pew! 118. Let's try again. 63. Might just be low specs. Hard to say, but still not bad by any means. I think we're gonna have to do a lot of testing with this thing, but I'm curious to see like if it's useful as a special attack weapon even without the multi aspect of everything. Like would it be worth bringing this into raids for example just to spec home with, you know what I mean? Like could it potentially hit like 200 plus specs? That's what I would really like to know. Let's try it on servers. Just a little bit of testing. I always enjoy doing that when we unlock new items. Plus we have this blessing. Curious to know if that has an influence on the special attack or not and all of that shit. Press back in you. 38, it's kinda low. Another 38, unlucky. Alright, second attempt. Come on, see some big hits. Infernal and everything. 158, that's a lot better. And an 82. Hmm, I feel like this is indeed most ideal in multi situations for sure. It is very fucking nice. Look at the stat difference with and without the blessing though. It's fucking insane. Just the stats alone. Ridiculous difference. God, it's pretty good. Honestly, it's two-handed though. I'm not too sure about that, but... I mean, definitely not bad by any means. What is higher, my slash or my crush? My crush is actually higher. Interesting. Alright, attempt number three. Show me some big hits, please. 161, okay. And 74. Maybe serve is just a bit high def, although it should be weak to crush if I remember correctly. Even so, I mean it's not bad by any means, don't get me wrong. Just not as high as I was expecting, I guess. Hmm, I know one more thing we can try. I'm gonna try servers one more time because I do actually have a slayer task for it, so I wanna see what I can hit with the serpentine helm on. Also, I'm guessing since the Serp gives 20% extra damage against Slayer Task and 5% against all monsters, that that would be buffed by this damn blessing as well. Because why wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's see what we can hit this time around. Make sure we're fully potted. And kaboom. 63, kind of low. Second spec, 86. Ugh. Specs are cool and everything, but like... For something that apparently is able to do plus 250% damage on the spec, it's not really showing that. Like if you have a base hit of 100, then you should be able to spec like 250s, right? Wouldn't that be how it works? I'm a little confused. Alright, just one more try. Oh, there it is, 211, so it can do it. It's just a little rarer to see, I suppose. But since you hit in a 5x5 area, obviously, there's a good chance of seeing those hits hit over time. There's one more thing I want to spec, and that is a Vorkath. 
You guys have the Shazy and I set, which is just busted as fuck. Um, there it is. Oh, look where the fuck is Warcraft. Oh, my spec! There, thank you. Also, just now been realizing that I don't have my pad on me the entire time. Not even when we test the max hit and shit. Stupid. Alright, come on. I want to see a huge hit. This is the last time we'll try because I don't want to waste too much yep, video time on this. 222, absolutely stunning, and to a 92. Not even bad. How long would it take to kill Vorkat with this thing? This was a small mini test, not even on test 134. What the fuck, bro? The first Wraith coming in clutch right now. Bruh. This is not even bad. Not even close. Fuck you, I'll, I'll face tank you. Okay, let's keep hitting. To be fair, in this gear I could probably hit like 200 Dragon Hunter Lances, which is almost the same speed. But even so, this is still pretty nutty, not gonna lie. The accuracy, bro, where the zeros at? God damn, hey, 100 Dragon Javelins. Personal record on the first kill, the fuck? Alright then boys, time for a little hour of Grandmaster TUB. Let's see if we can get some loot. I changed my setup quite a bit, we're no longer freezing at Maiden like ever, so... Thought that was kind of a waste. I'm gonna go drink this, and I still have four minutes on my inferno, so I'll save it when that wears off. Hopefully, we can get enough prayer pots during the actual raid, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Got my beautiful chasm quake or chasm, ca ca chasm, chaser axe. Fuck me, man. I don't think it's pronounced chasm, like gasm or something. Chasm. Fuck that. Anyway, let's uh, hope for the best. And here we go with the first TOB completion. Let's see a purple, please, and in someone's name. Oh, it's in my name. Oh, it's in my name. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. let's fucking go. Purple, purple. Oh my fucking god. No way on the very first one, man. Oh, if this is an affliction item, I'll flip my fucking shit. Please, I beg. It's a normal sight. <laughs> No fucking way, bro! Another scythe! Another scythe! You have got to be kidding me! Oh my god! Oh, it couldn't have been a uh, new scythe, huh? <laughs> Fuck you, to be fair. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh... <laughs> another scythe. Merch and you can take them all, man. Holy shit. Oh, that's another scythe in the pocket. God damn, that's crazy. Fifth. Scythe from T.O.B. What the hell? Good luck, boys. Second raid. Let's get that back-to-back -back purple. Oh, no one got one. Unfortunate. Any rares, though? You never know. You never know. You never know. No. No back-to-back. -back. Well, my fucking recorder froze. Good luck to uh, Rotten. He actually got a purple. Damn. Let's see it, bro. Come on. Scythe. Scythe. Scythe, Scythe, please game, bless my boy, I love him enough that he can have it, how, how long, <laughs> what's in the damn box, bro, alright there we go, come on, just this here leg guards, rip, unfortunate, my fucking dumbass didn't open the chest, I fucking hate myself, could have been a rare still. Alright then guys, we're actually uh, quite in luck except for me not opening that fucking chest like a dumbass. I'm gonna do a quick a room coin exchange here. Which should be enough. I didn't take the... Out of everything I banked, I banked the one item I needed to get to 15k. Oh, I'm so stupid. Right, there we go. Full room coin exchange, including my precious molten boots. Oh, literally... Oh yeah, from Xara Great Box, wasn't it? Oh yeah, well, 5k room coin, so I'll gladly take that. Giving us 23k. Wonderful. Why do I need room coins? Oh, you're probably gonna buy more raid mods. No, actually. I am not buying raid mods with this one. I am looking for my Wanderer tokens. I'm gonna walk. Woggle over here. Waddle waddle till the very next day. And then we're gonna buy a Wisdom Skip Scroll. Which. I need to encounter it. No, I just need to have it on me, I think. We can go into the shop, skip it, and buy a Guffix bow, which will prepare us for when we can make the Chasm Quaker bow. Looking forward to that, but three more um, course is probably going to take a while. 